What's up guys, I want to take just a few minutes to talk to you about Golf Clash clans, what they are, and why you should join them. There's not a whole lot to it, it's pretty simple. The reason you want to join a clan in Golf Clash is an increase in rewards. And I'm going to go ahead and open up, I'm going to look down at my phone here just a little bit, but I'm going to open up the clans tab, you're going to see I have a clan, the One-Eyed Gators, I don't know if any of you guys are um, happy Gilmore fans. Damn alligator bit my hand off. Oh my God. Yeah, tournament down in Florida. I hooked my ball in the rough down by the lake. Damn alligator just popped up, cut me down in my prime. He got me, but I tore one of that bastard's eyes out though. Look at that. <laughs> You're pretty sick, Chubbs. But if you are, you'll get the reference. So as you can see here, if you go to League, if you go to League tab, which I'm going to do and take a look at One-Eyed Gators, you, you will see we are currently in second place. We're coming in hot. We're trying to get that first place position. But why does that matter? You know when you actually are playing on different tours in Golf Clash and you can actually rise through the ranks. You can start, you know, beginner, rookie, and then you move into, I think, pro and then expert and then masters. It's pretty similar with clans, okay? So when you go to play a game, you'll see you get coins, trophies, and now you get clan points depending on the tour that you're playing in. So these clan points count towards your clan's progress on the clan ladder, the clan leaderboard. Now, this is a totally separate leaderboard than your own personal one, so that doesn't matter. But what you wanna do is you wanna climb this leaderboard and get to a promotion zone. Now, why do you wanna be promoted with your clan? The main reason to do this is for the rewards. You'll see a beginner, you have perks of plus 10% gem boost, which is pretty cool, but if you move up to that next bracket, you'll see it's a plus 15% gem boost, which isn't a huge deal, but you open up an additional golf bag, which is very, which I think is very convenient, because there are some times when I'm playing and I want a little more accuracy or a little more distance. Instead of going in and changing the clubs individually, I could just create a couple of separate bags. As we scroll through here, we've got plus 30% gem increase as we keep moving up, plus two more golf bags. And then finally up here, we have plus one trophies for victories as well, which is pretty cool, plus 35% gem boost. So you can see there, there's not really any reason not to join a clan because you're going to get these boosts no matter what. Now, when you're searching for your clan, you wanna make sure you find one that kind of fits with your play styles with a group of people that you're going to get along with. There are going to be some that are very highly competitive and have requirements, like you have to get 200 trophies per week, you have to play in all the tournaments at expert level, and all these things. So you, and then there's the other side where you're going to have people that just join because they want the rewards, but they don't play too much. So you got to find that balance. You want to find a good clan. The clan I've started is probably somewhere in between. We're not the best players, but I'm pretty active, so we're on there. So take a look at mine if you want to, if, if you're looking for a clan to join, I think you'll like us. Uh, the other cool thing about clans you have, you can take you can take a look at the members here, see how everybody is doing. You can see who all is playing in the tournament, how far along they are, they are in the tournament. There's also a chat feature. I think the chat feature right now seems a little broken. Every time we invite somebody to the clan, it, it shows up here. So I don't think that's the best bet, but you can have chat with clan members, discuss strategy, things like that, if that's what you're into. We can click on through here and take a look. There's an inbox. We can send out clan messages and we can look at the information. You can see the location, the division, minimum player level, the type, all these good things. And then there's also a settings. I should mention that Creating your own clan sounds like a good idea at first, and then you find out that I think it's 250 gems to do so. And then you gotta go through the recruiting process, and it seems like just about everybody's got one already anyway. And then if you wanna go in and change a name, there's more gems, so it's not really free to start and run a clan, so just keep that in mind when you're thinking about joining one. Uh, the other way to earn clan points that I didn't talk about are tournaments, and of course, you guys should be playing in tournaments anyway, hopefully, but you want to take a look at the prizes. So before I'm looking at the pro tournament here, uh, before, you know, you got the cards and the balls and the coins. Now you also get clan points and quite a few. So I would say playing in tournaments is also a great way to earn clan points and keep boosting your ranking. So I just want to talk a little bit about clans. It can be a little confusing and I forgot a very important part. So let me, let me go back. I'm going to go back to the clan tab here. You can see under members, we have our current members and then we have a season one X members. So what happens if you join a clan and then leave? You don't get to take all those clan points with you. The clan doesn't also get to keep all of them either. So a lot of those points end up forfeited on both sides. And the reason for this is that 
you know, if you join a league and you say, wow, this clan sucks, but this other clan looks better, I'm gonna join them. You can't just join them and take all your points. It doesn't work like that. So you wanna be kind of careful uh, when you join a clan and who, who you join a clan with. Uh, the earlier you get in, the better off because those clan points all count towards the end goal of the season, which is about a month or so is how long the season lasts. So I, I did want to point that out that you want to join one early and start building up those clan points and then you don't want to leave because I did that once. I created one just testing this whole thing out, you know, I earned 200 points or so and then I moved to another clan that looked pretty good. You know, I left and I lost all those points and then my clan lost all those points too. So if you join a clan and then you leave, uh, you're going to forfeit a lot of the work you've already done. So you wanna be a little picky in the clan that you would join. You wanna find one that seems to be active and kind of fits your play style. So I did wanna mention that too. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is new content for the channel. I know a lot of you guys are pro probably came here for Rocket League or whatever different game it was. And this is a very different style of game than what I'm used to doing, but I saw a need. I, you know, I enjoy the game and I feel like the content for this game is lacking a little bit, so I wanted to step in and try and help out. So let me know if this is helpful to you guys or if you're playing the game or if you like the game. Uh, shoot me a message in the comments below. Thanks for being here.